Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Peter here with Evo. And for this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly balance your Rage gimbal. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and use our GS150 tripod adapter stand. This is gonna screw right onto the bottom of the gimbal here. This is sold on our website or from on our re one of our retailers. Uh, it's 29 bucks. It's super nice to be able to set your gimbal down on a flat surface and do this balance adjustment. Uh, with this balancing process, there are three steps. The first step is to balance your tilt axis. The second step is to balance the roll axis. And the last step is to balance the pan axis right here. So let's get started. I have a Panasonic GH5 with a 12 to 50 millimeter lens right here. We're going to go ahead and mount this to the gimbal. One thing to keep in mind is that to always remember that the logo on the side of the tilt motor should always read upright. So another way to tell is to make sure that the tilt motor is always on the left side of your camera. So let's go ahead and mount the camera. I'm going to have to take my camera tray screw here and line up the thread on the bottom of my camera with my camera tray slot. Screw this on. I got my camera mounted. So as you can see, right out of the gate, my camera is definitely front heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment on this tray uh, to slide the camera backwards so that it is compensating for the front heaviness of the situation right here. So we're gonna find the sweet spot by loosening up this lever right here. Uh, just as a note, this lever right here is indexed so you can pull this out and adjust the position of the lever if you need to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up though and adjust the camera tray backwards. Right about there. And as you can see, I went a little too far. So I'm gonna loosen that back up, shift this to the front a little bit, tighten that back up. And as you can see, that is really well balanced. This is the goal that you want for each axis. You want the camera to be able to hold a static position in any position, just like this. So it shouldn't dip to the front, it shouldn't dip to the back, it should be able to just hold static right there. Uh, so now that we're done with the tilt axis, we're gonna move on to the roll axis. And as you can see, if I let go of the roll axis, the camera dips pretty heavily to the left side. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up this thumb screw on the back roll motor and we're going to counter adjust this by sliding this arm out to the right side here. As you can see, it's not dipping quite as much. I still need to make an adjustment a little bit further in this direction. So we'll pull the arm out a little bit. Now you can see I went too far. Now it's weighted too much on this side. So I'm going to adjust it back this direction. Now you can see that I finally found the sweet spot. It's pretty close. I'm going to adjust this back this direction just a little bit. I'm going to tighten this thumb screw. Now you can see that this axis is now perfectly balanced. So this, like the tilt axis, is holding a static position no matter where I put it. That's your goal. The more, the more centered you have each axis, the more efficient each motor is going to run, the longer run times you're going to get with your gimbal. So the last step to balancing your Rage gimbal, and this is the one that's probably the trickiest for some of our customers, but I'm going to make it super easy for you. All you need to do with your right hand, pick up your gimbal and turn the handle onto its side, just like this. And what you're going to do is just like the roll axis, you are going to adjust this axis. Let's see if I can arrange this here a little bit better so you can see. You're gonna adjust this axis right here on this pan set screw so that it is balanced. So you can see that right now it is a little heavy on this one side. So I'm going to loosen up this camera screw, this thumb screw right here and adjust this inward just a little bit. 
and you can see that now this is pretty well balanced. It's a little off, but it's not a big deal. It's really, really close. So we're going to go ahead and call that good. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer you get it, the better it's going to work. So let's power this gimbal on right now. Press and hold down the power button for three seconds and the motors are going to fire up and you are now ready to film. I'll see you in the next video and remember to keep it smooth.